last day of your tour. How's it feel? It feels good to have it done. But once you get into it, and you realize and what it means to actually travel the country and connect with people, and how rich every day is with this lifestyle, because that's really what it becomes. I mean, I'm at the point where I don't want it to stop. <laughs> well, hey, 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 I'm, I'm thinking, thinking we're gonna win in 2020, and then I can, you know, do my thing and you know, live in the Pentagon for maybe a decade. But then I'm done. Then I'm really done. I don't have to try. I don't have to tour like this. Actually, touring like this is a lot of fun, and giving the same presentation and honing it and adapting it every night to your audience and connecting with people uniquely every single night is a lot of fun. And having a mission and a purpose to a tour like this, like signing up delegates to bring about the reforms in the Libertarian Party in 2018, is amazing. But what I'm hoping is that you know years from now, my big, my big. Sort of tour fantasies, the retirement tour, where I get to just go kind of lazily, you know, different city every other day, and just sit on stage and answer questions, and just talk, just have a microphone, and and just be able to have a conversation, even with, with with bigger audiences, to be able to to do that instead of instead of saying, you know, here's my speech, here's my purpose. I think my my victory lap at at the end of my career, one way or another will be a tour like this, connecting with regular Americans every day. It just feels like on this tour, we leveled up at every stop. This organization grew, the team grew, our capabilities grew. It started as a dare, and then it grew into an intellectual exercise and a big joke. And I kept answering the questions and people kept asking them. Or I talked about running for not president, running against the presidency, running for president to dissolve the federal government, to turn the presidential election into a referendum on whether or not the Fed should exist at all. I realized, you now I have a pretty comprehensive plan here. It covers the entire federal government. It's not that hard to believe that we are going to build a consensus among the American people that we are better off without the federal government entirely. And people started taking it seriously, you know. People were like, yeah, yeah, Adam, I want to support you doing that. Okay, well, I guess we'll talk about it a little bit more seriously and a little bit more seriously and a little bit more seriously. Next thing you know, we're organizing a national campaign with state coordinators in every single state with a national delegate coordinator who's super locked on, with an awesome campaign manager, with a great team of staff already who are committed to making this happen, with an army of volunteers all over the world, with an army of people who want to be delegates here in the United States. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked to say that uh, I fell over backwards into my activism by accident but it's never been more true than about this campaign. And it really is mind blowing for me personally to be in a position to be the conduit for this kind of major social change. Can't imagine anything I'd rather be doing with my life. Every night in my talk, I point out that this is more evolutionary than revolutionary. And while it's a revolution in the United States and with this campaign, it's important that those of us who are committing our lives to this cause, at least, recognize the bigger picture and the evolutionary nature of this. And the fact that we cannot really change fundamentally at least, the course of human destiny because it is determined by forces of nature that are far greater than any of us as individuals. And yet, as individuals, 
we get to shape the face of that destiny. We get to be on the side of complacency or the side of righteous progress. And those of us who affirm that we are on the side of righteous progress are claiming our role in human history, in the heritage of the species, as the ones who, in this day and age of our generation, of our time, to bring about this fundamental change, we are the ones who are going to wield the internet and bring down governments all over the world. Not only can I not imagine something that I would rather be doing with my life, I cannot imagine a better time to be alive than right now when we see that we have this chance to shape the future of humanity like no one before. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. Land of the free and home of the brave Red stripes on the flag, blood spilled from the slaves They take what they want and we do what they say They gave us a number, replacing our name No, no, they know they're using us hard Taking our money we earn from our jobs We try to elect and we hoping for change But tonight they gon' drag us away Freedom for what? 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 And all they do is promise freedom Freedom for what? My name is Adam Kokesh And I endorse this message it's gotta have that stupid smile the like this is not natural because <laughs> government makes me say this <laughs>